Don't these things look cool? Looks are deceiving. This blue one, it's got the wrong washer on the front, but they told me I can use the one that I've got. I just haven't got confirmation yet. This one here, check it out. Let me show you how it clicks and all sorts of weird noises. Bottom line is, it'd be better if I could get Filoto to contact me and, and help me get through this, but silence from this company. Silence. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can you find a video with a Filoto bike on it where the Be Heard Network hasn't posted on it? That is unbelievable. I mean, my arm hurts from clicking on buttons all day long. Filoto, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? You know what I want? You should just send me a new bike and take this one back, one that you've checked out and that works great and everything's good with. Because, I, I mean, I'm telling you, this jumbo is ticking me off. I can't even ride my brand new bike. But, Filoto, you've ignored me. You will not return my calls. You will not return my emails. You have not commented back to me. And I'm going to keep adding to this page. So, you guys, right now what i got to do is I gotta, I'm trying to, I'm trying to fix the crank on the bike. As you can see, check this out. Okay, so basically what I can see is it's got a little sticker here. So I guess I'll peel off the sticker. I'm really hoping that it's the sprocket that's that's bent and not the actual, you know, hub itself. We're gonna find out here. Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay. Well, looks like I'm going to have to watch a YouTube on how to remove this thing because I don't want to mess it up. See, there you go. But you know what I need? I need to order a new tool now. So I'm going to have to go and order a specialty tool to pull the crank off at an extra cost to me because Filoto won't get back to me. And if that doesn't work, then, you know, uh, I'm going to check it out and see if the sprocket's bent. And hopefully it's not the hub or something like that. I don't know. I'm not a bike expert, but I'm going to have to tear into this because I don't want to dump more money into a bad product if I don't have to. But, I mean, if I don't hear back from Filoto, well, then I'm going to have to take it down to my local bike store and see what they say about it. See if I can get it fixed from them have them check it all out and and fix it and then uh i guess they're leaving me no choice i'll go to the better business bureau and then i'll have to file a small claims or something like that because they just refuse to contact me i mean it pretty much destroyed my fourth of july it kind of sucks and 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 this is the kind of service that they've got really Filoto? come on but you know what i, I i'm gonna make a video uh i i, I so re you gotta go online and hear my sad story it's so sad it's, so sad. it's just a boy trying to fix his bikes with his wife. And it was so sad. It's so sad. But, hey, the cool thing was I was able to go and, and have AI read you the story. So if you go to the site, you can hear the story read to you in this AI voice. It's cool. So next I'm going to take AI and I'm going to make a, uh animated video for the story that goes along with this and stuff. We're just, I'm just, you know what? I, I, I'm, I'm making, uh, I'm making lemons out of lemonade. You know, I'm just, I'm trying to have fun with this whole thing. It's kind of upsetting to me, but what are you going to do? You know what? These companies like this, they think they can ignore you and just throw you to the background, but they can't, you know, and I'm not going away until these bikes are fixed and I can ride them. I want to get out there and I want to ride and Filoto, I paid you a lot of money so that I can ride. Do you hear me now, Filoto? Hello, Filoto. Do you hear me now? Hello, Filoto. Hello.